Mega goal, five. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you dear student? I hope you are fine. Our lesson for today, expansion from unit 1 to unit 3. Page number Is anybody out there? Are humans the only intelligent life in the universe? Or are we just one of many advanced civilizations out there? While people used to assume we were alone in the universe, we now know that the galaxy contains over 100 billion stars. This fact has led many scientists to think it unlikely that we are the only intelligent life form in the universe. Some of these scientists have devoted themselves to searching for other civilizations. This search is commonly referred to as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI. Since the SETI program began in 1959, scientists have been scanning the sky for signals sent by another alien civilization. To do this, they use the world's largest radio telescope, which is located in Arecibo, Puerto Rico. The Arecibo telescope is 1,000 feet, 305 meters in diameter. This telescope is so large, it is said that it could hold 10 billion bowls of cornflakes. The telescope collects and sends data to SETI computers 24 hours a day. Many people don't realize that in addition to searching for radio waves, we humans are sending them out into space as well. This is because all of the radio and television signals that come into our homes also travel into space. We have been constantly and unintentionally leaking radio waves into space for over 60 years now. One day, these signals may be detected by an alien civilization. In fact, it is possible that aliens are already listening to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, CSI, and The Simpsons. Although SETI has found some unexplained signals, there have not been any clear, confirmed extraterrestrial signals yet. However, SETI scientists are not at all discouraged. They know that the universe is vast, and searching the entire sky for a distant signal is like searching for a needle in a haystack. Not only are SETI scientists not discouraged, they are actually more optimistic than ever before. They do feel that in another 50 or 100 years, they will have succeeded in detecting alien signals. What is the reason for this confidence? Previous searches were limited by the shortcomings of available technology. For example, while there are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, fewer than a thousand have been monitored for alien signals. But technology is improving all the time. As technology improves, scientists are going to have a better chance of picking up alien signals. In the next few decades, hundreds of thousands of stars, maybe even millions, will have been monitored. Dan Wertheimer, a SETI researcher at the University of California in Berkeley, says, We're making incredible progress. The more computing power you have, the better job you can do looking for these signals. Capabilities have been doubling every year.
One reason SETI's computing power has been increasing is a volunteer program started in 1999 called SETI at Home, in which the computers of ordinary people around the world are used to analyze SETI data. Through the SETI at Home program, volunteers download a special SETI screensaver to their home computer. When the computers are not in use and go into screensaver mode, the computers begin to analyze data gathered by the Arecibo radio telescope. The home computers search through the data for any signals that may have been created by an alien civilization. There are currently over 5 million volunteers in 225 countries participating in this program. Wertheimer says, if you're the lucky one that finds that distant signal, then you might get the Nobel Prize but you have to share it with 2 million people around the world who are helping us analyze that data. Some people find it hard to believe that perhaps one day we will be communicating with aliens from distant planets. But others feel differently. 86-year-old Daniel Jackman says, When I was a young man, if you had told me that one day we were going to send people into space, I would have told you that you were crazy. Now I know better. Just because we're used to certain limitations doesn't mean we can't go beyond them. We may well learn one day that we are not alone in the universe. In the meantime, when sitting on your couch, watching your favorite TV program, consider that an alien civilization may be listening to it with you. Okay, dear student, we will discuss about this writing. Writing Brombent. Write an expository essay about a common device or technology. Write about the history of the technology and make predictions about how you think the technology will change in the future. Include grammar points from units 1, 2, and 3. اكتب مقالا تفسيريا حول جهاز او تقنية شائعة اكتب عن تاريخ هذه التقنية وقم بكتابة تنبؤات حول كيفية تفكيرك كيف ستكون هذه التقنية في المستقبل او كيف ستغير هذه التقنية في المستقبل قم بتضمين او قم باستخدام القواعد من الوحدات واحد واثنين وثلاثة An expository essay is an essay in which the writer explains, describes, or gives information about a subject. المقال التفسيري هو مقال يشرح فيه الكاتب أو يصف أو يعطي معلومات حول موضوع ما. Write your essay. اكتب مقالك. One. Decide on the type of device or technology you will write about. حدد نوعا من الأجهزة أو التقنية التي ستكتب عنها. 2. Use a chart to organize your ideas. Write your topic on the top. Then write ideas about the past, present, and future of the device or technology. استخدم الجدول التالي لتنظيم أفكارك حسب اكتب موضوعك في الأعلى ثم اكتب أفكارا عن الماضي والحاضر. ومستقبل الجهاز أو التقنية. 3. Write a draft of your essay. اكتب مسودة لمقالك. 4. Have a partner read and comment on your draft. Use your partner's comments and suggestions to revise your essay. اطلب من أحد زملائك في الفصل 
القراءة والتعليق على مسوداتك استخدم هذه التعليقات التي ذكرها زميلك واقترح عليه مراجعة مقالك Okay dear student this is some directions to write your essay هذه بعض التعليمات لكتابة التعبير Also this example of the essay وهذا أيضا مثال لكتابة التعبير هذا والله أعلم صلى الله على نبينا محمد على أفضل الصوت والتسليم لا تنسى الاشتراك في القناة وتفعيل زر الجرس ومشاركة المقطع بين زملائك لتعم الفائدة